love. It is chosen not by those who pick Stromboli, not by those who do lust or do those activities that they think are cool for movies. So yeah, they're doing, I don't know, high risk, anything. The ones who come in and out and they flake. Okay, so that's a person who does not know love. They don't even know secure attachment yet. They're going to go around talking about people being fucked up. They're going to go label people. So whenever I see anyone who doesn't know how to choose love or be loved, they're always acting like teenagers I met. I didn't think people would grow up and stay that way. But what I realized with my attachment trauma information is that they don't know how to be in their brain. So when you don't know how to be in your prefrontal cortex, you don't know how to process emotions that come up in thoughts, which is why you go to the Zen master who says, you can't be enlightenment. You have laundry in your body. No, no, we let our emotions shine because we are not hopeless, helpless, or worthless in our emotional body. Also, if emptiness arises, we know how to say, yeah, I give meaning to, right, to, to life. So what's the deal? You know how to be playful. Okay, so we're going to have an extended version at some point, but it might not be now, of why people have such a hard problem choosing love. It's because they think love is lust and in their visceral, and it's unrequainted, and it's suffering, and it's push and pull. That's all unhealthy, all of it. It's all people who have unfinished business. Luckily for them, they do have tear real, so they can go and get their relationships together. But you ask an actual badass woman, man, or they, yeah, there's no flake. It's a consistent rise to the high. And I'm not even joking. It's really nice because generous of spirit, said Guru can tell you all about it, how to be in your ventral vagal nervous system. He just doesn't know the words. Open to infinite possibilities. So when you come here to IHP, if you want, it's you hearing voices of people who know love for real, not pretend. That means we know all emotions. Oh, yeah, sadness is a beautiful emotion. It's about connection. But what you realize is you don't miss out on anything because nobody discards anyone. It's more of you don't want unconditional love. You don't know how to stick it through. You don't even know that maybe you will have, I'm not going to say it because that's really blue, but that man who says that there are men who fuck you and feel disgust, contempt, and then they don't call you back and they feel shame. I feel bad for those men, not for me. Just saying. And I do know that men who fuck you won't marry you, by the way, that, that also, like what year are you from? So when you're singing your own song, the difference is as a conscious lover, I choose who to fuck on purpose, you know, just saying. And yeah, I get explicit at times. People are like, what? You do? Why not? It expresses a lot of emotions. What makes me laugh is that I have to call these men men because of respecting them. And also I'm four foot nine. So if I really told them what I thought about them, I think that they might decide they want to punch me. And I think that they would be right to want to punch me because it is insulting. At the same time, I think they could get to therapy and stop talking like they're badass when they're not. And I would love for women to stop talking like they're badass too when they're talking about codependent type relationships. So you'll notice that the challenge for people to choose love is that they're still their teenage version. That's what I noticed because I was not a drama king queen. I said, don't you know there's all those men, women out there? What are you doing? And days now. So for me, it's easy. I know that a man can keep up with me if he's an actual man. That's personal. And that means love, not not Eeyore. Eeyore personality is a you're going to flake out. And as we get older, I'm not flaking out energetically. I'm actually consistently on a high. My body, well, that's a piece of meat. So when we choose love, we live it and we are authentic. (laughs) We love to meet the people who are on the same journey. And so come on over if you'd like, and we will be back shortly with an extended version. This is a short bit, and I'm sure you'll appreciate it because some of you have a short attention span. But it's nice to expand on the conversation and get into some technical so thank you again for stopping by share like and subscribe we also have a short and see you soon